Hey y'all, welcome back to Deuce on the Diamond. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Orange Bloods Texas YouTube channel. Janae, you've been killing it. Let's just <laughs> say it like that. Like, just straight like that. You had, what, ball number 300 in your career? Yeah, I, mean, I did. <laughs> when you were stepping up to the plate, did you know that that was ball 300? No, I didn't at all. I knew that I was close, but I didn't know that this hit would have been the hit to put me at 300, so... That's crazy. Is that something like in history or anything like, or does everybody reach their ball 300? Um, I don't think so. I think I'm the first to ever do it at University of Texas. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> Come on, say it with your chest. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I love that. Also, you guys had a really good SEC upset against LSU, a shutout. And yep. that was a really good game. Do you finally feel like, you know, Texas giving, getting their groove back a little bit? Yeah, I definitely think that we're starting to, like, turn a leaf, and it's definitely a new team since our first tournament. So as long as we're getting better each game, each tournament, each week, I feel like we're on the right track to making it to the World Series. So as long as we're progressing, I feel like we're, we're progressing at the right time. Yeah, and we really didn't have a chance to talk about what the softball team was going through. You know, you guys had a rough patch, and I think Clearwater, and it just wasn't getting any better. <laughs> I want to know what happened like what do you think what was going on with you guys yeah I definitely think that us going through that rough patch it kind of just made us all get closer together and just realize that we can only lean on each other we're only playing with each other out there not our coaches not our fans our parents it's only us out there so yeah. I feel like us going through that rough time it just made us band together even closer and I feel like that's really what we needed. And that's what we were missing at the time, honestly, that chemistry. So I yeah. feel like us going through that really built up our team chemistry and made us all get closer with each other. Do you have any advice for players that could be going through a rough patch like that? Um, I would definitely say just trust the process, trust who you are, and just know that this is a game of failure. Like you're going to fail nine times out of 10 even. So just knowing to just keep trusting your process, keep going keep going back to who you are and the things that you do well. So watching old highlights of yourself, even that's what I do when I struggle, just going back to knowing like who I am and realizing my strengths in the game. Okay. And you guys have had an 11 game unbeaten run, won five games consecutively against ranked opponents. I know you just discussed like the chemistry is kind of coming back, but what's other things specifically on either offense or defensively hitting wise that you guys have changed? Yeah, I definitely think our freshmen are stepping up big for us. Um, definitely Mia Scott, uh, Katie Simmons, people like that. Even Estelle Check in the circle. I feel like our underclassmen are really stepping up for us. And that's what we need in these big moments when our upperclassmen are struggling a little bit. We can have those other people on the team, not even underclassmen, just other people on the team to fill in those roles and pick up each other when we're down. And just knowing that offensively, anybody can do it. Uh, defensively as well so and how has coach been helping with that yeah basically just having us have meetings together and just realizing that uh, anybody can get the job done no matter what grade or whatever that you're in anybody can get the job done and just believing right. in ourselves love that Janae who do you model your game after uh, definitely Natasha Wally I feel like she was definitely someone that I looked up to all the time uh, I saw that she was on the USA team and that was always a dream of mine to be on that team as well and just model her game and that she was a triple threat and I wanted to do the same thing, whether that's bunt, slap, hit, just find any way to get on base. And I wanted to be just like her when I got older. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here you are. <laughs> Who has been the hardest pitcher you faced so far? Like uh, definitely Montana Fouts, I feel like. We're going to be teammates. Okay, you said, I was wondering if you are going to say the same thing as Lauren. Lauren, you yeah. telling me about Montana. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're going to be teammates on the USA team, so it's going to be fun to play behind her than play against her, so it's going to be real fun. How are you preparing for the USA team on top of just playing for Texas? Um, mainly just sticking to my strengths that I have been doing now and trying not to change much and mm -hmm. uh, basically just worried about worrying about that team when I get to it so as of right now just trying to finish out this year strong and lead the team to the world series and then once USA team uh, events start happening then I'll worry about that when I get there so 
Absolutely. Now the team has been just excelling offensively, but what have you guys been doing defensively to help improve your game? Like what type of techniques in practice? Um, yeah, just making sure that we move our feet more and stay down on the ball more often. And honestly, me and Alyssa Washington, like we've mm -hmm. always been putting in extra work, whether that's staying after practice late or coming in early just to get as many ground balls and as many reps as we can just to make sure that when those balls are hit to us in big situations that we're prepared for it and we're not going to back down from the challenge. So just putting in extra work and working hard. Okay, period. <laughs> and I know you've already talked about, you know, like the Mia Scots and some of the young ones, but who has been improving their game that isn't talked about enough, but you have noticed it? Um, I would definitely have to say Alyssa Washington at shortstop. I feel like with uh, Parker going down, we definitely needed someone to fill that position. And she stepped mm -hmm. up to the plate. And speaking of Montana Fowles, she hit a hit a bomb off of her. So she stepped up mm -hmm. big points in that game even. So I feel like definitely Alyssa, like she's putting in a lot of work and I've just seen it all. And I've just been so proud of her as a person and as an athlete too. So she's just amazing. And y'all have Lamar today, Texas State tomorrow, Kansas Friday through Sunday, busy week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> busy, busy. How do you prepare, you know, just for the games, you mentally mm -hmm. and your body? Yeah, just making sure I get extra rest um, when I can, honestly, and just going in for treatment all the time and just trying to recover as fast as I can, honestly. So, yeah. yeah. Does it wear on you mentally at all? Like all these games back to back? Especially I, like, you know, if you lose, how do you not take that into the next game? Yeah, I think definitely this past weekend, LSU game, like this past weekend definitely kind of got me mentally just being locked in every pitch, every inning, mm -hmm. every at bat. Just, I don't know, I feel like in those big games, that's when it really gets to me mentally because I'm so focused and locked in and it takes a lot of emotion out of me. So yeah. I think with that recovering, just letting go of that game and just knowing that the next day it's a new game, new day, and just treating it like that. Okay. And that can be tough to do. Like, yeah. you know, y'all are shutting out LSU. Look, every time I would get up to bed, I'm like, okay, well, we already won. <laughs> but you kind of do have to, like, leave that in the past. Like, in a way, the momentum does take you through the other games. Yeah. But if you lose, you need for that momentum to, like, go away. <laughs> like, yeah. we don't need that. Seriously. So how do you find the balance? Um, I think, too, just letting go of the pressure. Like, when you feel pressure in big situations, you have to know that I've been in this situation before, so whatever happens, happens. So you can't really put too much pressure on yourself in those situations. And that's what I try to do every at bat or bases loaded at bat, just try to breathe and not let the moment get to me. Just enjoy the moment rather than feel, like, timid about it. All right, Janae. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking with me, especially because you're about to be busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But I love seeing like the Janae Jefferson tweets pop up on my timeline. I'm like, okay, she's doing great. Yeah. <laughs> like she's on game, I don't know, eight, but she's doing great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is Deuce on the Diamond. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And wish Janae good luck on her games. Yeah. <laughs>